Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then we'll try it together. Okay, so it says that in 2010, the population of New York State was approximately 19,378,000 with an annual gro growth rate of 1.5%. Assuming the growth rate is maintained for a large number of years, which equation can be used to predict the population of New York State T years after 2010? So take it slow in these kind of problems. Um, you know, don't just randomly pick a choice here. Look at each of them and see what they're saying to figure out if they make sense or not. And don't be afraid to plug numbers in and see if these equations give you what you would expect. And we'll do that here. So choice one's wrong. How do I know that? Because the growth rate is this number, and that's a 50% growth rate. It's the, it's the percentage um, 0.5 that's greater than 1. That's our growth rate. Remember that in general, uh, you can look at a population growth. You have your initial population, p sub 0, times 1 plus your rate to the t power. All right, this is the population after t years. So some initial population, which we see here, that's correct, 1 plus the growth rate, so it should be about 1.015. And I, I can see that number here and here and here. So 1 is out. 2 is also out. 2 says that the starting population is correct. But then what they're doing is they're, they're taking the initial population and they're adding 1.015 times p of t minus 1. Now, why would that be wrong, right? Uh, because let's say I plug in, let's say I, I want to find p of 1, p sub 1. What would I do? Now, in this case, t is the number of years after 2010. So it's one year after 2010, so it's 2011. What would happen? I get 19,378,000 plus what? 1.015 times p of t minus 1, which is what? Well, t is 1 here, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is really just p of 0, which is 19 million 378,000. So you can see that we have our starting population plus our starting population and 1.5% of that. So this is growing by quite a bit more. It's the, it's the original plus the original and 1.5% of that. And if we look at the calculator, we can see what's happening. Um, here, you do 19378000 plus 1.015 times 19,378,000. And we get 39,046,670. Now you don't have to even calculate the exact percentage, but 39 million is over double 19 million, so it's grown by over 100%, and that's not what we're looking for here. Then it comes down to these last two choices. In this one, I, I think I chose this answer at first, but then when you test it, you can see it's incorrect. Again, if I plug in P sub 1, I would get 19,378,000 times 1.015 to the 1 minus 1 or 0 power. All right, you're plugging in T here. So one year after 2010, the population should go up. But 1.015 to the 0 is just 1, and you would be stuck at 19,378,000. So that would be saying one year for 2010, there was no population growth, which is not what we're given here. So the answer has to be choice four. Um, but before we look at that, let's just go back and fix both two and three. Here, you could fix two if, you, if it was plus 0 0.015 times the previous population, right? Because that would be saying the same thing as choice four. It's uh, the original population plus 1.5% of the year before, right? That would work. So if you put a zero there, try it out, 0 0.015. In this case, it would be the original population plus 1.5% of the original, and you would get the correct answer. In the third one here, instead of it being t minus 1, it would just be t, and then it would work. So if I plug in 1, and that would be one year after the starting point, you have 19,378,000 times 1.015 to the first, which would make it go up by 1.5%. Now in the last one, let's make sure that it works. If I plug in P sub 1, what does it tell me to do? Take 1.015 and multiply it by P sub T minus 1. So 1 minus 1, because in this case T is 1, and that's P sub 0, which is 1.015 P sub 1 
times the previous population. And if we look at that in the calculator, we get 1.015 times 19,378,000. And that gives us a little bit over what we had before, right? It's 19,668,670. And if you want, you could say, well, I want to subtract that from the population I had before. And if you want to see the population change, 378, get some number, and then divide it by the original population. Remember, percent change, if you want to see this. And you should get about 1.5%. So you get that. Test those things out so you feel confident in your answer. All right, I hope that helped.